Ah, Noblestead, the town where every day is yesterday. Yes, some may say that theirs is a community stuck in the past. But one man's dark ages is another man's time-honored tradition. And what are traditions, if not things we're still doing? Oh, it really makes you think. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Hello there, it's Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio, where today we'll be asking the question: Do slow news days prompt needless questions? You won't be able to miss it. Skills are non-transferable.
The students are reminded that this is the fun part. Later in the week, I'll be talking to the Boogie Knights. Those metal-clad funk makers are equal parts gallantry and groovy, groovy, groove music. Knights and chivalry were first popular hundreds of years ago, of course. But isn't it funny how these trends come around? Stay courtly, kids. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. recently spent a weekend away on Pebbly Island, a beautiful locale in our proverbial neck of the metaphoric woods, where I stayed in a luxury hotel. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Ricky, you've changed. It's true. I do it all the time. I hardly recognize myself. Next up, mirrors. What are they looking at? Students are reminded to find themselves.
plants need water, remember? At Bungle, we know what young people want in a motor vehicle. Independence. Fun. Wheels. Beaver from Bungle. The car that puts the E in freedom. And now the news and today's top story. Sensitive government documents first thought recovered are now feared to be deli meats. 
Though that is a shame, but at least there's a salty silver lining. What's a little cyber insecurity when you've got a face full of ham? Nice one. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Students are reminded to set reminders. Wasn't that a smashing tune? I'd have been tapping my toe from hither to yon if I wasn't completely torn deaf. Did you know that I'm also situationally torn deaf? Yes, I just cannot read a situation. I have one speed, and that's Ricky. Doctor, return to the hospital. Thank you. CV, it didn't happen. Not to me.
did to care about students. There's another craze sweeping our county's youth. The so-called cheesy gob-off asks challengers to see how many cheesy gobbins they can stuff into their unsuspecting gobs. Competition is a wonderful thing, don't you think? It brings us all together and fills our mouths with cheese. We are nearing the finish line today, but first our producers wouldn't let me leave without trying my hand at the cheesy gob-off. Play that music while I gob on down. I've done 60. I've done 60. <laughs> you get my try. I've been Ricky Hoffa. Sharon. That's quite nice. That's so. It's a cheese. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
end of the academic year. Try not to worry. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. The academic year is now over. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Your year, it's just another year. Students should check in before trying to learn.
This is Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio, where we do all the work for none of the pay. We've got a great show for you, but first, here's some music. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Student, it can be hard to find time for, well, everything. Here's Maggie with a tip for getting things done. <music> Multitasking is great. I don't know what I'd do without it. Sometimes I'm there writing an essay while listening to a recorded lecture and covering an event for campus radio, and it just dawns on me. If multitasking wasn't so great, this would all be a bit much. Thanks, multitasking. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated.
good, but you came here on purpose. hospital and some missing bones. Here at the teaching hospital in Mitten, students look forward to a long and healthy life in medicine. But while they were sleeping, with visions of crutches and pharmaceutical machinery in their heads, their teaching skeletons went missing. They've tried making their own skeletons out of wire, toothpicks, and toilet paper, but sadly, they're 39 bones short and don't know what they're missing. For now, their education and the future of healthcare in our county is looking boneless and a little limp. Fliss, back to you. Announcement. Intruders on campus. Oh, no.
Clean your whiskers and grab your briefcase because Cat Court is in session. This season, it's all litigation and litter trays. <laughs> the Bureau Cats. New episode every week on Bundle Pictures. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. questions. No, I've not seen your frog. for joining us on Campus Radio. If anyone from Two Point Radio is listening in or has received my emails, I graduate next year and will be available for paid or unpaid roles at your station. Thanks. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives.
basement. Intruders on campus. Oh no. Students are asked not to ask questions. asked questions. No, you can't have an extension.
students should pretend that they're listening. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. It's me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, the voice coming out of your radio here on Two Point Radio. Isn't it a beautiful day in this little county of ours? Not that I'd know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you hadn't noticed. and then removed immediately. A prospectus is not a promise, but a course is missing a classroom. If it's quite all right with you, I'd like to discuss crockery. Any objections? No. Delightful. Yes, I don't know who needs to hear this. I'd imagine it's most of you, but plating is not optional. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shoveling chowder into your sockets. Announcement. Intruders on campus. Oh no.
project complete. It's time for Agony Answers, where I solve one of your tiny little problems with minimal effort. The following is from Forlorn in Freshly. Nigel, the other day I accidentally left my dissertation on the bus. Could you please spread the word and see if I can get it back? Thanks in advance. Well, well, this is what you get for riding the bus. As for your request, I'd love to help you. I really would. But if I did, how would you learn? You see my dilemma? Students are reminded to find themselves.
asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. to make stacks of easy cash, but reading about stocks is really boring. Invest in Bungle Coin. It's like other fictional cryptocurrency, but with 40% less saturated fat. Sir Nigel Bickleworth laughing at you, not with you, on Two Point Radio. We can all do with an occasional chuckle. It keeps the blood fizzy and the vitals convivial. So I present to you this next piece of music that is sure to give us all a good long laugh. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means.
is, is it really worth going? Oh, sorry. Wasn't that terrible? Ah, I needed that. On the subject of laughing, and indeed needing, I see that many of our country's students are petitioning traditional reading materials. Frankly, I find it very funny. If you didn't already possess all of the course materials, why would you start the course? How bizarre.
Today on Sir Nigel Reviews, I was faced with the formidable task of critiquing the inventively named Chewy Gum. Yes, I am tasked with assessing the various merits and shortcomings of this interminable taffy. I like a jaunt and a jape as much as the next fellow, but I draw the line at such chewy vulgarity as this. Chewy gum. Thanks, but no thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you. 